Specific phobias, as you'd expect, are irrational fears of very specific things. The response can be anywhere on the anxiety spectrum from mild anxiety to a full-blown panic attack. Animal triggers, like snakes and spiders, are pretty common, but triggers can also include situations, like social anxiety disorder, the fear of public embarrassment. Triggers can also include environments like agoraphobia, which is the fear of an uncontrollable environment. Examples include crowded spaces, wide open spaces, or even public transportation. Now, agoraphobia in particular is strongly associated with panic attacks. And if you think about it, if you never knew when you were going to freak out, I bet you'd be pretty reluctant to get on a crowded train as well. Most specific phobias don't actually need to be treated with pharmacotherapy. In fact, the best treatment is usually just to systematically desensitize the patient to the trigger. You know, like have them get closer and closer to a snake until they can finally kiss it without freaking out. Or something, I'm not a psychotherapist. But both social phobia and agoraphobia generally benefit from the classic anxiety disorder cocktail. Remind me what that is again? SSRIs and CBT, there you go. In addition, situational social anxiety, like excessive fear of public speaking, can be treated with benzos or beta blockers. And agoraphobia responds pretty well to MAOIs. Why aren't they first line again? Bad side effect profile, there you go. Seriously, guys, for how annoying I'm being right now, you guys are going to be so happy I was a pain in the butt with these questions, because this is some seriously high-yield stuff.